told NorCal I'm next up, it ain't no stopping me. I ain't Capolo, you hear AA, then it's a robbery. All right, man, welcome back to the show. You want to introduce yourself to the people real quick? Shit, we got right here. People don't know me, y'all gonna know me now. I'm from South Berkeley, I'm an independent artist, and I go by Measy Number 7. Yeah, okay, okay. And so, so what kind of music do you make? Shit, I make rap music, I make lyrical music, shit. I talk the reality shit, I don't know. Yep, okay. Before we get into it for real, how did you get into making music in the first place? Long story. Shit, I used to, I ain't gonna lie, when I was in high school, I used to uh, go to B-Tech Lab and just go up in there and go fuck with my craft, go fuck around, see how my voice sounded. Okay, B-Tech Lab, what was that? I, oh, high school, shit. Basically, like, continuation school from uh, Berkeley High. Okay, okay. But how did, um, so you, grew, growing up in South Berkeley, how was that for you? How did... Growing up in South Berkeley influenced you to get into music and all that. Shit, growing up in Berkeley, period, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, shit, I stayed on both sides. I stayed on the water side, I stayed on the south side, but um, keep it short. Shit, um, just a lot of shit going on in the hood. Shit, that's, shit that uh, niggas we relate to, shit around the hood. Yeah, because yeah, cause Berkeley's kind of one of those spots that like people don't really be knowing about. It's kind of like a slept on area, so... Could you compare Berkeley to like growing up in Oakland or is it like a whole different world? Man, I'm gonna put it like this. You can grow you can compare Berkeley growing up to anywhere in the anywhere in the Bay. Anywhere. You can you can compare it to LA, Miami, New York. Everybody got a hood. Everybody got some niggas who will beat a nigga ass, shoot a nigga, probably rob a nigga, take a nigga bite, you know? Shit like that, you understand me? But I ain't gonna say too much. Okay. Okay. What what did you do? So once you started actually getting into music, what did you do to really take it more seriously? Uh, let me see how can I say that. Shows, shit, stand in the studio. I'm gonna keep it real. My producer Ramos, he's from Richmond. Oh yeah. Shit, he used. To, I ain't gonna lie. I used to go to that nigga house so much. The nigga used to tell me my shit was booty. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie until a nigga got like this nigga and nigga like yeah, bro, I fucks with you, saucy. You understand? So if you out in Richmond. You need a producer, go check out my nigga Ramos, you understand me? Oh, okay, okay. In terms of like videos and shit, so do you got music videos out? or? How yeah, do you I, got a, I got probably like six, seven music videos out, probably yeah. from like a year or two ago. But now, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't did shit in probably like a year because I've been trying to stack my bread up and shit. But minute, I'm back on you bitch ass niggas next, nigga, and I'm coming, nigga. I swear to God, yeah. I love it. Okay, okay, so how is that balancing out? Because, yeah, it's expensive to be a rapper and shit, so how is it balancing? You got to balance the funds and shit, then you got to, like, get this shit going. Well, you better go get your ass a 9 to 5, nigga. If you ain't got no 9 to 5, you better find another hustle. I ain't going to lie. You better go sell some Zaza. You better go some... Niggas know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Niggas know what I'm talking about, Trail. Niggas know. Yeah, okay, okay. You hear me? What is your trajectory? What's your goal right now in terms of music and shit? Where do you want to? Where do you see yourself in some music? Trying to get my years? family out the hood. Trying to trying to survive, bro. That's the main goal. I ain't lost too many niggas in the trenches, for real. Feel me? So I ain't worried about. I ain't worried about the clout. I ain't worried about the fame. I just want to make sure my family comfortable. I'm good. Feel me? Got a little cheese in my pocket. Understand me? Got a little. You know what I mean? But damn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, let the people know, honestly, like, what you got coming. How do we find your music? Where can we find it at? What's, you can find that shit on all platforms. Shit. You can look for uh, my new shit coming with Dudes by Mitchell called Cross. Or, matter of fact, fuck that. Scratch that. We ain't even gonna call that bitch Cross. I'm gonna call that bitch <laughs> Drop In because we gonna drop in on you bitch ass nigga. You understand me? I got that coming with Dudes by Mitchell. Then I got my shit called Rio Flow that I just shot here probably like an hour or two ago. You understand me? We had the YG and Tiger shoot. You understand me? Uh, what else I got? Shit, I got my album called Stand On Business. Look out for that too. You understand me? Yeah, and then, yeah, where can we, how do we look at, uh, look you up on YouTube? How do you spell your rap name and all that? At M double E Z Y hashtag seven. You'll find me on all platforms, all streams, on DistroKid. You'll find me on Deezer, Apple, iTunes, all that shit. All right, man. There we go. I appreciate you for coming through. Any last messages? Any last words? Uh, shit. Niggas already know what it is. But we, uh, for the niggas who think I'm not coming for y'all, I'm coming. Look, 
And with that nigga in that word say, uh, you can keep the fire too, yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> Cause he's a penny pincher, baby. And I'm up. Uh, we we miss say I'm broke, baby. Hey, <laughs> I, I just missed a call from the plug, I'm finna pull a brick. Went to jail with some fraud niggas who ain't up on shit. Pull up to a nigga block with chopping, I'ma let it drip. Niggas mad I did it by myself and they ain't up on shit. See who you playing with? Cause I'm that nigga who'll beat a nigga ass like Kimbo Sykes, I'm finna drop shit. You can smell a dope on my clothes, cut the nonsense. That is not your bitch.